I was 33 years old. I was teaching, I had two young children, and I got bronchitis followed by a viral pneumonia. The symptoms didn't clear up. I continued to be unwell. It was only five years ago that I got a complete and accurate diagnosis. My name is Breda Flood. I'm 67 years old and I was diagnosed with severe allergic asthma, with bronchiectasis and a mild form of alpha-1. I worked as a primary school teacher and teaching principal for 27 years. I retired in 2006. Since then, I have been very busy as a patient advocate with both the Asthma Society of Ireland and also at the European level with the European Federation of Allergy and Airways Diseases Patients Associations. I learned that there was a lot more to asthma than I had been given to understand. A patient with severe asthma does not respond to the regular asthma medications. I attended training as a patient expert with the European Medicines Agency in London. I now understand the importance of pharmacovigilance and that patients need to report to their doctors if they have side effects from medication. In 2014, I was elected the first patient representative to the International Primary Care Respiratory Group. I was a member of the faculty for a Teach the Teacher project, which took doctors from eight countries, and we taught them how to deal with patients with difficult to manage asthma and how to do it better. I think doctors need to be proactive. They need to realise that when patients come to them, they may have already searched for something on Google. But the patients need direction and guidance from their doctor to a safe source of information. If I could go back, I would certainly put much more pressure on my doctor to send me for further investigation and I would insist that I could not continue to live as I had been struggling to live with asthma for so many years. Since I achieved a full and accurate diagnosis and the best treatment for my asthma, my health has improved. I can enjoy life without limits. I still take my regular asthma medications, but I have not needed to use reliever medication at all in recent months. I'm very lucky that I was able to access that injection treatment. Sadly, it's, the cost is still prohibitive, so it's important that health bodies in each country understand that this medicine can save lives. My message to people with asthma is ask more questions. Take uh, notes about the symptoms and contact the patient organisation in your own country. You have a unique perspective and that is key. I would encourage people with asthma to get involved in research. Your participation will benefit not just you, but all the other people out there who are not yet living well with asthma. And hopefully, in the future, they will find a way to cure asthma.